Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a little review and information on this foundation right here. This is the Dermacol Makeup Cover Foundation. I had seen a lot of videos and just talk around the beauty industry talking about this right here. The claims were really big. Apparently it was extreme full coverage, which I don't know if I've found that many other foundations that can live up to that claim. And so I decided that I had to have it. I ordered this on Amazon. I got it in the color number 207, which is the second lightest color that they make. I believe they have 13 shades. Um, and since I got this on Amazon, the prices do vary depending on how many people are buying it. Sometimes the sellers will like jack up the price if they realize that a lot of people are buying it. But when I bought this color, it costs $12 plus shipping. This makeup is actually from Prague, which is very interesting and they only make it in Prague. It was created for photography and also film. It says right on here, film studio, Prague and then they actually sold the formulation to Hollywood. So this is something that is used a lot in film and is supposed to be really good under lights and long lasting and high coverage. Apparently I have heard this can cover up tattoos because it is so high coverage. So that'll be interesting to test out. I'll kind of test that out at the very end and see if this lives up to that rumor. On the Dermacol website, it says that it has a velvety matte finish. It is hypoallergenic and completely waterproof, which is interesting for all those boys out there that say we're gonna take her swimming on the first date. Gotcha. It also says that it has 50% pigment, which for people that don't do makeup, they might not know what that means, but that is extremely high. Like. Most drugstore makeup, I think, let me look it up. So apparently most commercial liquid foundations that you can find like at the drugstore or even in like Ulta and Sephora have about 18 to 23% pigment. And then normally theatrical type makeup, so used for plays and films and stuff like that, have about 30 to 35% pigment. And this has 50% pigment, so that is a lot. And we'll kind of see, so we'll kind of test and see how high coverage this is. All right, you guys, if you want to see me applying this foundation and kind of some of my first impressions on how it applies, then just keep watching. So I'm just going to prime my face first. I am using this Rimmel Lasting Finish Makeup Primer as my base. And here is the foundation. It comes in this really interesting metal little tube, which isn't the prettiest packaging, but as long as the product works really well, I do find that this is small and compact. And so if I had several colors of these in my makeup kit, that they would be really good. So the packaging doesn't necessarily matter to me if the product is good. I got it in the color 207. So this is the second lightest color that they have. So when I squeeze it out, it looks extremely thick. Just from seeing other people online use this, I know that a little of it goes a really long way. So I'm just going to use kind of like a little bit more than like a pea sized amount. And I figured on one half I would do my face with a brush and then the other half I would do with a beauty blender. So the first half I'll just do with my brush. I can tell this is very thick, but it seems to be um, blending out pretty easily. And I literally barely used any. I do have some breakouts over here that are kind of red and obviously a lot of redness in my under eyes and on my nose. This might be a new staple for my makeup kit. It is a little light for me right now because I do have a little bit of fake tanner on, but I'll bronze it up with some bronzer later. Let's see how it does on that little blemish. Wow, it literally just covered it up immediately. So far I am really liking this. Let's see what it looks like on my under eye area. Wow, that worked beautifully even for a concealer. 
all darkness is just completely covered. I am extremely impressed and just how it like buffed out even with just the brush. Usually I like the finish of a beauty blender more. So let's kind of see what it's gonna look like with the beauty blender on this side. Whenever I use a beauty blender, I usually always spread the foundation onto my face first and then um, dab it out with the beauty blender. So I'll just do the same thing as I normally do. It almost has like a, not moussey texture, but it's very, very thick, but also very easy to move around. I look crazy right now. Okay, damp beauty blender, and I'm just gonna smudge this out. It's really easily blending out with the beauty blender as well, which is awesome. Both sides ended up looking pretty good as far as coverage go. I'd say the beauty blender seemed slightly heavier coverage, which is usually pretty normal for me. The color's a little light just because of my spray tan, but that's not the foundation's fault. I think that the consistency is really nice. It's kind of a satin. I wouldn't necessarily say it's matte because my skin definitely still has like a healthy glow to it. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and I'll check back in with you guys after I've completed like everything and let you guys know my final thoughts. All right, you guys, I have the rest of my bronzer, highlight, and blush on, and I did feel like it looks a lot better now that I've like bronzed and highlighted my face just to make sure that everything blends kind of into my chest since I was a little more tan on my chest. I really, so far, am liking this foundation. I feel like it gives kind of like a light luminosity, which is kind of skin-like, and that's why I like my RCMA foundation because it looks very skin-like. Um, the coverage was amazing. It was so highly pigmented. I don't think I've ever used a foundation that is so high coverage before. This would definitely cover up tattoos. In fact, I used so little product as well, and so, I'll use kind of some of the leftover product. I used less than the size of a pea. So yes, this is a smaller tube. It is 30 grams, but I used like half of a size of a pea to cover my entire face. And this is like a full face of foundation. Okay, as you can see right here, here is a tattoo I have on my wrist from my Carpe Diem. Um, don't mind these lip swatches. I did them yesterday and they're still on my arm, so I apologize. But um, that is black ink. This stuff is so pigmented. It literally covers up the tattoo in just a few seconds. That is not even a thick layer. It's just a really thin layer that I placed on top of my tattoo and the other half of my tattoo is gone. This could definitely cover up tattoos if needed. And I still have more left on my palette. This foundation would be great with people that have like a lot of rosacea or a lot of acne or a lot of redness, really dark under eye circles and stuff like that. I am really liking this foundation. I am very tempted to buy a bunch of the colors to stock in my kit. I think that this might even be a good one to mix in with other foundation to maybe give our other foundations a little more coverage. I'll have to experiment and try that. I'm not sure how it'll go. I definitely like this foundation. I would recommend it. I think that that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about the Dermacol makeup cover foundation. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you guys have tried this as well. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!